Welcome to Utah State University's 2021 Design Build Fly video report. We are the Big Blue Aviators team, and here is our submission to the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics Design Build Fly competition. Design Build Fly is a national competition in which university teams design, build, and test remote control aircraft that perform a specific task. This year's task involved designing an aircraft that can carry and deploy a tethered electronic sensor that displays a light pattern during flight. The competition consisted of four missions. The ground mission tested the safety and electronic systems of our aircraft. The numbered flight missions involved scoring our aircraft based on its performance under different loading conditions. To optimize our score, we decided to design our aircraft around deploying a long, heavy sensor rather than flying fast or carrying a lot of Mission 2 cargo. To carry a long heavy sensor, we designed a dual motor cargo monoplane. It has a five foot long, high strength, low aspect ratio wing made of carbon fiber reinforced foam. The blown flaps located directly behind each motor help the heavy aircraft take off within the allowed runway distance. The traditional foam tail configuration is simple and provides ample control. The steerable tricycle landing gear help the aircraft take off and land consistently and the long and thin fuselage is built of carbon fiber, balsa wood, and monocoat. It contains the batteries, electronics, sensor, and deployment system. We now show the aircraft taking off and completing a full lap in the Mission 2 configuration. As you can see, the aircraft took off before the white line, which marks the allowed 100-foot runway distance. Unfortunately, the deployment motor electronics began malfunctioning during our flight event, so we could not demonstrate the full sensor deployment system. We hope to resolve these issues and deploy the sensor in flight at a later date. Now you can see the aircraft landing smoothly in the Mission 1 configuration, thanks to our fantastic pilot. During our local flight event, the aircraft successfully completed both Missions 1 and 2 with a full competition course setup. Although we are disappointed with the deployment system malfunctions, we are pleased that we were able to complete two of the three missions and still have a flyable aircraft to attempt the deployment mission after we troubleshoot the electronics problems. Thank you for watching, and a special thank you to our faculty mentors, Jackson Graham, Joel Ellsworth, and Sabrina Snow, our pilot, Daniel Robinson, the USU Engineering Department, and the Bridgeland RC Club for letting us fly at their phenomenal remote control airfield. We appreciate the opportunity to learn so much about the design process and look forward to applying this knowledge in our future careers.